Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Agent Leader of Prototype. So today I'm going to show you how to add a live sub count to your PS4 live streams. Now I am a live streamer myself, so I do know what I'm talking about. Just like the title says, because I'm not no clickbait YouTuber. This tutorial doesn't involve OBS, a capture card, nor does it involve remote play. Now you might think it's ghetto when we get into this video, but I don't care. The point is to have a live sub count on streams. Since that's been said, let's get into this tutorial. So you're gonna need two things for this. The first thing is the PlayStation camera. Now I know there are two different kinds of PlayStation cameras. It doesn't really matter which one you use, as long as you have one, that's good. If you don't have a PlayStation camera, I'm sorry, then this won't work for you, unless you have another kind of webcam lying around. But I don't think other webcams work on the PS4. If it does work, I guess I'm a liar then, and you're in luck. Alright, so the second thing you need is some kind of device that can access the web browser or the internet. You know what I mean. Like I recommend a laptop just because it's more sturdy and it has a big enough screen. You can use a phone or whatever you want as long as the PlayStation camera can basically record it. So I had this old laptop in my closet and I never used it anymore because of its age and the fact that I have a newer one. Okay, so these are the two items you need. So now you just go on the device and search up live sub count on Google or whatever. I like to use livecounts.net. It doesn't matter which one you use, they're all pretty accurate. I think you know where I'm going with this now. And I did say it might be ghetto earlier, but you just take your PlayStation camera and you put it in front of your device so it can capture your sub count. Alright, so we're almost done. So now you want to press the share button on your PS4 remote. A menu should open up and you want to press on sharing and broadcasting settings. After that, another menu opens up, now you press on broadcast settings. Then a small menu opens up, now you want to press on advanced settings. And then we have another menu, press on camera video settings. Okay, so this is where you want to be, you can see a preview of the sub count before you start up the stream. Now press square to see it in full size, and here you can adjust your camera's position and see how much you want of your screen to be in there. Now, back to the menu, just press square again. You can play around with the brightness, contrast, and stuff like that of how you want it to be displayed. So yeah, that's basically how you add a live sub count on your streams. Behind the scenes, it might look bad, but it doesn't matter anyway. It's a good addition to have so you and your viewers can see when some of the subs are on subs. But that's all you have to do. Every time you stream, it should only take 5 minutes to set up. I hope this helped you, and if you have any problems or you have a different method, definitely leave a comment and I'm sure to respond.